Today on the show we talk about sequels that are amazing, Rob and I figure out how to save Hollywood, and we talk about the phenomenon of Pokemon Go. <laughs> this is Nerdy Pop. Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, welcome to Nerdy Pop. We are back, and uh, we've got some we got some good stuff to talk about tonight. I'm Matt Barnes. This is I'm Rob Liefeld. Episode six. Episode six. Yes. Episode six would make us Return of the Jedi. Return of the <laughs> Return of the Jedi. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, is, we're so we're a good, good place. It's a good one. It's there good will one. be no dancing Ewoks. No, no okay. dancing Ewoks tonight. Right. They were the only problem with that. Okay. Yeah, but uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into the nerdy news. Nerdy news. All right, first up in the nerdy news tonight, Rob, first, I, actually, this is not a, technically part of the nerdy news, but I have a, a nerdy news announcement to make. Go. My wife and I made a deal this week that uh, she would watch The Walking Dead with me from the beginning. Awesome. If I watched Game of Thrones with nice. her. Nice! Oh my gosh! So, that is a nerd, nerd palooza! <laughs> it's a nerd palooza. Game of Dead. Yes. Walking Thrones. <laughs> That's great. So, I love it. Good so I will be able to participate. You're both going to benefit in the Game so of much. Yes. I, I love yes. it. So, but my real, my real nerdy news tonight, uh, Entertainment Weekly here this last week put out a, a great new, uh, a great new uh, edition. Yes. Issue. That's the word I'm looking for. Issue with the Suicide Squad. Suicide. No, no, hold the cover up. Suicide Matt Squad. Get, okay, I have kids that I buy magazine subscription for. Yes. So I get three entertainment weeklies every week. I wanted this cover. This is the one I didn't get. I come in tonight. <laughs> of course, Matt has only one sub. I guess if you only get one subscription, yes. they give you the cover you want. Yes, yes, yes. I got Will Smith and some guy with tattoos and... Uh, yeah, other stuff. Yes. So, Entertainment Weekly, every year they do this. On page 46 of this uh, of this uh, issue here, they did their to their top 10 movies of the year so far. This list is crap. <laughs> now, some of them I'm I've heard are that. fantastic. I haven't seen, like, number one, The Lobster, which I've heard is great, but I, I haven't seen. Uh, three is Green Room, which is a horror movie with Patrick Stewart in it, which I really eh. I, I want to see because I haven't seen a good horror movie in years. Okay. Um, but and then one number two is a documentary called Wiener about Anthony Wiener, which yeah. it's like... It, it's good. I've seen it. Levels, it's good. I've seen it. Right? Not better than Deadpool. Jungle Book's in there. Uh, Sing Street. John Carney. I haven't seen. Crap. <laughs> he crapped on. Then, uh, uh, oh, I know. Uh, on Keira Knightley. Yeah. That sorry, John. Cool. We're done. Not cool. But I, I do love his movies. Yeah. Um, I know you like Begin Again. Great movie. Sorry, John Carney. I know. I know. Got to do some penance. Um, and then this, most of these I haven't heard from. Number ten was Captain America: Civil War, but there was number one. number ten. One giant omission here. You think? That uh, yes! set some records this year, Brooks, and it's not anywhere here. Rob, do you have any thoughts on that? I, I think this list is crap. Because <laughs> and, and the why, first thing Rob? I said to you was, is Deadpool on there? <laughs> I mean, come on. I, look, I'm sorry. Deadpool was a phenomenon. It was a massive hit. I am not stroking myself here. I am stroking <laughs> Tim Miller, Ryan Reynolds, Rhett Reese, Paul Warnick, Marina Bacharin, these yes. Fox, they put together the, it, are, it is the hit of the year. Yes. Because it was made for, Box Office Mojo says $58 million. They are correct. And it made, it's just shy of $800 million. Yes. Come on. It, I think domestically, that is successful. Domestically, it made more than Batman and Superman, Matt, appeared in a movie for the first time ever this year. And they dropped Wonder Woman in. Like, La! Hist history was made on yes, cinema, yes. and it didn't out earn Deadpool at the box office. And hey, Entertainment Weekly, crap list. That list is crap. And here's the other. Deadpool's thing. not on it. Your list is crap. And Deadpool. Here, here's the thing. Here's the other thing. Crap. Deadpool to me, it's rated R, and it's rated still R. Did better than all for other ridiculously movies, so. awesome. <laughs> yep. Yep. So um, I I'm thought, sorry. I saw that, and I kind of laughed, and I thought Rob's gonna. There's love some this, good movies. So. There's some good. But come on, come yeah. on, list guy. Well, what I was your beef? I feel like every year I look at that list, and it's like they're looking for, the, like specifically looking for the movies that you haven't heard of, yeah. and trying to bring. Oh, those like to Captain America: Civil War. Or, well, yeah. Never heard of that. And then they throw in one or two <laughs> fan favorites, but Jungle Book. Oh like yeah, I didn't hear that. Too hard to <clears> pull out the. Oh yeah, number one is the Lobster. I mean, I've heard it's great, but me too. But I didn't see it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what pay-per-view is for when it comes out or whatever. What's it called? Um, Netflix? Um, no. Like, <laughs> like, you know. iTunes? Whatever. Uh, whatever. Yeah, iTunes. Let's wherever, just go with wherever iTunes. Wherever you see things. Yeah. Uh, DVD. Okay. Who I saved myself. <laughs> Matt, that was a great... This list is crap. Um, I'm feeling it tonight. I can you, tell. You exclude... De Deadpool deserves 
notice. And, and that's from my boys who did that movie. They're so awesome. Yes. And look, like you said, it was R-rated. It, um, it would have made... Uh, I've told the story about how my son and his buddies said they were going to see it. Uh, all good kids that go to the local private school. And we, you know, dropped them off thinking they were going to see it. They all came home and said, oh, we, we gave money to the other movie. Uh, you know, uh, we, we, we gave uh, Zoolander money to go see uh, Deadpool. And I'm like, you did what? And I was like, what? And then I was like, how many dollars have been given to Zoolander that belonged to Deadpool? So, you know, that's all, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. And it's a great movie. Mo Money be damned. It's a great movie. Yes. And, and that took me six episodes to go all pro Deadpool. So I You did. did. You've I'm held good. it in well. I am. I'm good. <laughs> you... I love you, buddy. Okay. So, uh, so anyway. Uh, what do, do you I got have, this do week? I have news? Oh, do. do I have news? Yes. Matt, something hit the universe Massive. this weekend. It shook the foundations of only the United States. Um, because I've seen people online and other artists internationally say, why is my feed full of Pokemon Go, dude, this, okay, so I have, I'm ideal age group in terms of kids, 12, 14, 16. Yes. And that suddenly, on Friday morning, they were all like, hey, we're leaving, we're going, we're going to the park, hey, we're going to the, we're going down to the mall, we're, and I'm like, what, what's, to my wife, what's going on? These kids don't get up off the couch ever. They like, <laughs> they watch their, I mean, my one 14 year old is so addicted to uh, Overwatch, which right. is a video game, and he plays it nonstop. I mean, it's summer, have a good time. I'm a, much more lenient with that, but I'd rather he was out enjoying the long days. And, and now, Matt, it's, can you take me to the mall? Can you take me to the park? And, and for me, here's why it's great. Yeah. No one ever wants to go out to dinner with me. I'm gonna reveal something on Nerdy Pop. <laughs> Two things. My wife will, my kids don't. Uh, I eat out every night, okay. okay? Here's something you didn't know about me. I don't eat at home. My wife will make food for the kids, but that's, I don't feel like, that's a reward for me. I've worked <laughs> since 5.30, since 5.30 in the morning, I'm drawing comics, I'm okay? I'm sorry, Joy. I'm sorry, since she's not here. No, she's Five, not here, but, I was but, just but, the camera. Okay, so 5.30 in the morning, I am up drawing comics. I'm yes. drawing comics, I'm drawing comics. I'm trying to keep pace with, with the publishers on the East Coast who, when 5.30, it's 8.30, right? So, I'm drawing all day. When it gets down about four o'clock, I'm thinking about where I'm gonna go that night. Yeah. What great spot am I gonna go <laughs> and eat? And this is what, hey, you guys want to go to dinner? No, no, no. Oh, just, oh, now it's, hey, Dad, can we go to dinner? Why? Are there Pokemon hotspots there? Yeah, yeah. And, and then can we walk around? So, dude, my life is like, yeah, Pokemon Go. I'm getting all sorts of visitation with my kids at dinner. And then during the day, they're out of the house and they're collecting these Pokemon. Yeah. And, and, and Matt, I mean, they are bumping into each other. We were at, in the city of Orange the other night. Yes, I saw, the, at, I saw at, your Instagram. Thank you. And, uh, we were watching people in the parking lot, in the street, on the sidewalks, bump into each other. And I'm talking 17-year-old, 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old uh, guy with his grandson or son. And, and Matt, everyone's with their phones, and they're bumping into each other. But this is, uh, I mean, I've never seen something take over yeah. one, I mean, so many age groups. Yeah. And I just think it's next level gaming. Uh, you're going to see so many applications of this. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's like... It's like virtual reality. Yeah. It, it, you see it with your phone and then right. you send the ball to retrieve it and, and then you can place them. And then also, I don't know if we, we should probably, I had to have a talk with my kids today about the crime sure. aspect. Right. Uh, there, there are people using this to allure kids and rob them. Yes. Because the local church near us is a gym and my son goes to reclaim it every day. And today I was like, you can't go reclaim, you gotta reclaim it. reclaim that church. You gotta reclaim that church. Uh, and uh, King Sizzle C, Shout out to my son, whose nickname is King so we'll see. He's, um, he's reclaiming that church every day. But I said, you can't go there alone anymore. No more. No more. Because we, we love you and we want you buddy to system. live. Yes. you got to go in the buddy So Pokemon system. Go. Anyway, I've given it. I'm telling you, Matt, it, it is. I know it's the thing everyone's doing. Yeah. But I'm telling you, my house, it has been a positive. They're outside. They're outdoors like they should be. When we were kids, we got on our bikes. I mean, the bikes and the skateboards, all the dust and the cobwebs are off of them. And they're, they're in play. So yeah. it's awesome. It's fantastic. Cool. Pokemon Go. All right, Pokemon Go. I gotta, I gotta feel like I gotta at least check it out just so you I should. Can, I can know. I mean, I've been reading on the stuff. Next week, yeah. Yeah. when it's in the past and no one's doing it anymore, we can <laughs> we, talk about. We can, the, we can be right the, on it. The history, no, honestly, I know we're gonna talk about Comic Con coming up. Yep. That I, everyone I know is terrified of what's gonna happen. Oh yeah. Now imagine 150,000 people looking at only at their phones, walking into each other, 
mass destruction. So. That's, that sounds like chaos. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to have you there. Today we're going to be talking about uh, sequels and amazing sequels in Hollywood. We're excited to get into that, but we are going to launch a new uh, segment tonight that we're both pretty excited about. It yeah. actually came about because of a, in between shots last week we, had, we started talking about something. We're calling it Matt and Rob Save Hollywood. We say, we're saving Hollywood. <laughs> Well, well, we should say why we're saving Hollywood what? is because yes. this is this has not been a summer of great hits. Yeah. When I'm sitting here trying to rile up people to see Tarzan, right. something went wrong. And uh, that's, you know, last week I was saying, Tarzan, and I'm like, why am I working so hard for Warner Brothers? They're not, you know, I'm trying to get people to go see movies, but this has been a bad summer for movies. Right. I mean, they're like, why is this a summer of flops? And that's why Which we're, gonna, I didn't see we're coming. saving. Well, I didn't either. Yeah, Matt, I, I didn't thought it was a good one. But, we, but we think we've got some ideas that yep. we can help. And there's some. There's a lot of. We're going to be talking about sequels tonight. There's a lot of. There's a lot of work on sequels, but we think we can actually do. Some and work and we're going to save it with these. What we believe are surefire hits. Absolutely. Surefire. That's what Hollywood needs. Surefire hits. Surefire hits. And surefire we've, hits. We've got them. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. You want me to go first? You okay. go first. So this, this, this. I'm this... going to think of mine while you're talking. Okay. <laughs> you can... No one told me what the show is, but that's not true. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so, um, la this actually was something that, that again came about last week in between shots. We were, I just had this idea. We were talking about the movie The Shallows, and I thought a sequel to Shallows, but where the sharks it. have freaking laser beams. Right? So we Matt. take the best of Austin Powers, which it, clearly was Dr. Evil, yes. and we bring it together with The Shallows. We got Blake Lively returning, and we have- Because she can't stop surfing. The Shallows 2, <laughs> sharks with freaking laser beams. With freaking lasers, yes. The Shallows 2. I love it. I love and it, so, sharks. So here, here's with my- With freaking lasers. With freaking yes. laser beams, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Sh Matt, so. I'm, I'm telling you right now, uh, my son couldn't stop talking about that. And look, my kids are my reflective, like I, I learned from them. And, yes. and, uh, and the thing is, that is so inspired because look, they showed at the end of the Shallows, I mean, it's been out for a couple weeks. Yeah. I mean, she's gonna go, even though she almost got her legs off. She's getting back in the water. She's back in the water, she's teaching her sister, Shallows too. Shallows too. And, and so I think they go and they find, they find this new island to surf at. They don't know that it also happens to be Dr. Evil's secret lair I love island. It. I love where it. Where he is finally yeah, developing baby. his sharks with freaking laser yes. beams that he wanted since the first movie. I, and now we're getting them. And so not only are they getting attacked by sharks, and she's out there with her sister, but these sharks have laser beams. And I mean, so Matt, they have. I, this, this is an opening we give them $100 million. $100, $100 million dollar opening I mean, what, for Blake Lively do, with Shallows 2. If they can do lasers. Men in Black yes. meets 21 Jump Street, That's right. this is it That's right, right here. So, and we had, fortunately enough, we had a, a, member, I can't in stop our, looking at it. a member in our audience last week who, on his own, created a, a poster to advertise this movie, which I think is genius. Check this out. This is out. awesome. This is, is this awesome. where I should be pointing? We'll put it up on the screen too. But we've got we've got Blake up on the buoy again, and she is being attacked by a shark with a freaking laser beam. And I love it. I would see this movie. I, Matt, I would see it opening night in Sony. Make this movie. What are you doing? Why not? We just Do gave it. you. I mean, this movie's already a hit. Gold. Print the La money. Sh sharks with freaking lasers. It's Matt, ready. I, I honestly, it would do huge, huge. It box would do. Office. It would do at least now one million dollars. At least. Oh! All right. I had to. I, I love it. I love it. That was great. Okay. That was great. Um, so mine, <laughs> yes. Matt. Since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Now here's the deal. These two franchises came out within a year of each other. Now uh, I always reference how old I am. But uh, this was a three-hour event on television. Yes. One year after the greatest movie of all time. Now, the thing that they share is, and it, at the time, it, it kind of ticked off the, the maestro, the, the, the visionary of, of, the, of the one movie I haven't mentioned yet. Mm -hmm. His visual effects designer yes. went over and did everything for this three-hour uh, uh, 1978 premiere. And uh, I'll never forget it. It was the one Sunday night I did stay home from church and I watched the whole thing. And, and, and it looks like Star Wars. Yeah. So I'm calling this Battle Star Wars Galactica. Yes! Battle Star Wars oh, Galactica. Yeah. Bring it together. Is, okay. And, and my visual will be, uh, it, w w when we see my visual, yes, we'll put it up my, on the my son has done a great mashup of this. And, and I'm telling you right now, uh, Battle... Star Wars Galactica is, I mean, maybe the biggest movie ever. I because, think so. Because Battlestar yeah. Galactica fans would flip out. Yes. And, and, and also, during the same time when I was a kid, Marvel Comics published both. Oh. And they published Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars simultaneously, and I used to always go, 
Starbuck and Han Solo kind of like <laughs> and Cylons and Darth Vader. I mean, I'm telling you, Matt, this is a, a no-brainer. And even if you like the uh, Ronald Moore show, yes. we can throw some of them. Female Starbuck, come sure. on in. You're welcome to. She can hook up with Han Solo. Oh, I my mean... gosh. The, this is Surefire. We're going only for the Surefire yes, hits today. That's, it's a and dumb. I'm telling you right now, I mean, come on. They're going to give us God's little King Kong. Yes. I mean, we got, we got, you know, Captain America, Marvel heroes are fighting all the time now. Yep. I just, I think Battle, Star Wars, Galactica. It's, it's a done, would, I mean. I, I'm not sure it would make as much as, as sharks with freaking lasers. Right. But, uh, but you know, if, if Apollo from Battlestar Galactica yeah. picked up a lightsaber, I might faint and fall back. I, and, yes. Uh, but I'm telling you, Cylons and Stormtroopers. Together. And I'm talking the Cylons one. Yeah, yeah, right. By your command. Like those guys. <laughs> not the, the cooler, like, Ronald Moore. Cylons that were more like bad CGI. Right. These were guys in like costumes. So anyway, <laughs> I'm getting too excited. But anyway, it's uh, awesome. it, 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 this that would save Hollywood. It, it would save Hollywood. It would save Hollywood. Come on, so. Disney. Would buy you Battle Star Galactica. Yeah. You guys see these movies? See, that's what I'm talking about. I think about. they would. People, they just need to pay us more. They, I think so. Well, they just need to pay us at all. I think so. You know, to do these things. I, I think they those those two movies alone is uh, two billion. Exactly. Uh, I just want a little bit of yeah, that. Just a, yeah. just a piece. And literally, Disney just buy Battlestar Galactica and and make that happen. Totally, totally. Well, tonight we're gonna be today we're gonna be talking about uh, sequels and the great sequels of all times. That we, you know, sometimes sequels are it's this big thing. Yeah. Sometimes they're hits. Yeah. Sometimes they're misses. But when they're hits, we've got some really legitimate sequels out there that have uh, sometimes even surpassed the originals. Oh yeah. So I mean, we've got we've got a, a bunch of different sequels out there. We we uh, just a, a list of some good sequels: Aliens, Godfather Two, Star Trek Two, Terminator Two, Dark Knight, Lethal Weapon Two, the Toy Stories, the later one. You know, I mean, the, Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back. Best Strikes, sequel was that ever. Not on my list. That's crazy. I, I, uh, I fixed it. You fixed it. You're like, <laughs> yes, you did. That list has got a little bit of the Entertainment Weekly. Get away. <laughs> It's, it's infecting it's it. Infecting it's infecting my infecting iPad. It with crap. It's Empire bad. Strikes Back. Mm. All right. So, um, yeah. So, sequels. Uh, what, for you, makes a great sequel? You've got to go bigger than the first one, yeah. but not at the cost of being smarter. I'm going to give you one yeah. that I remember that, that isn't on this list, but Die Hard 2 oh, yes. was a phenomenal movie. The first Die Hard was great, and Bruce Willis against the, 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 the robbers. You thought they were terrorists, but... Um, you know, great, very contained. And the second one, you're like, it's going to happen in an airport, but then it's in, it's involving the planes and the terrorists were really smart. Yeah. And then there's a moment in Die Hard 2 where there's a big reveal that guys who we thought were on our side weren't. And it's in, it's in a very shocking fashion. Mm -hmm. But I always felt like that, and, it, and Die Hard 2 was very well received. Yeah. People did not disown it. It was like, wow, we didn't think this could outsmart. We, we again, we wanted to spend time with John McClane again. Yep. And, but putting him in, not a building this time, but now the airport, planes in the sky, everything's, you know, uh, uh, under under siege, which is funny, uh, a ripoff of Die Hard. <laughs> right, But anyway, right. under siege, and they had bad sequels. But what, what about you? Um, you know, I th there's, a, there's so many good ones. Dark Knight, I think, was just a fantastic example of... Great. Um, to me, it's... It's uh, whether it's that one or, or others. I think it's it's one giving a compelling reason to actually exist. Right. Um, sometimes I think the bad sequels are generally ones where you watch it and you're like, we didn't need that. That just didn't Correct. need to happen. And I feel like like Terminator has kind of had that. Oh. A few after, I mean, Terminator Two, obviously awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But since then, they that's some of the and disappointment has been. Okay, well, did they need to make this movie? Did they need? Did they need to do that? And um, and, and it's not really there. And then th the other thing is just making a great movie, and not, instead of trying to make a great sequel, just making a great movie. Well, I think you hit on it. And again, uh, closing up my thread on Die Hard Two, yeah. it had a giant military component. It really made it bigger. But again, we were spending time with John McClane with with uh, with the movies like Aliens. Yes. Um, Alien. Ridley Scott's Alien yeah. is a horror film. Yes. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's a horror film. Yeah. It, it works on a horror film le level. You are pulsing. I jumped, I think, two rows back as a kid when there's the part in Alien where they're, they're going, he's right there, he's on top of you. And you're like, where, where? Because you can't see him. Yeah. But that's because they haven't shined the light right above when he goes, ah! Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I, 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 it scared me so hard. But Aliens, yeah. when James Cameron comes on, yeah. is a full-blown Action, action movie, movie. Yep. so we still get to spend time with the creepy chest bursting aliens yes but now 
James Cameron clearly was like, I'm not going to out horror what Ridley Scott did. Right. But I can out action him. And you've got Vasquez with her to this day, that giant gun apparatus yep. that she led with, and Bill Paxton. And I mean, again, so I, I think it's when the sequels. They, we revisit yeah. something that we're familiar with, but it takes it in a new direction. Yes. And I think also Empire Strikes Back, we weren't prepared for how dark that was as a kid. Right. You're like, what? Luke's hands cut off? And this is in the middle of the story? Yeah. I mean, I remember in the theater going, that, that's the end of the movie? That's the end of the movie? You know, yeah. Like, you're like, in and, and, and Star Wars, and, hey, and where's the, the medals? I want, him to have, I want him to wear medals and I want him to win. Right, right. They're winning. Oh, they're not winning. Okay. And Han's frozen. Okay. Right, yeah. right. I mean, so that, like, whoa. And they dropped the I'm your father thing on you right oh, there. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that small <laughs> component. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I was just shocked. That movie literally, I think, just shocked a generation. So anyway, I'm sorry. You yeah. talk. No, no, no. I, 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 that's that's the thing. I think you get you get some sequels that it's like I don't know why that exists, and you get one like Empire that really furthers the story, takes it places that you didn't expect it to go, lets you revisit your favorite characters that you love, and see them actually develop and go somewhere, and set and even maybe set up something else for the future. Uh, that seems more compelling to me. I think, like, honestly, I gotta be honest, the most disposable sequels are the Lethal Weapons to me. They came on the TV, like, a couple weeks back, mm -hmm. and I was like, I know I saw this, I don't remember any of it. And then I'm like, the reason is it's crap! This movie is crap! Lethal Weapon 3 is crap! Three like, is, you go, yeah, it's, good. I think, 3 and 4, and I don't know that they made a 5, but no, stop! <laughs> um, you know, I mean, we, we and now they're, uh, this is the worst, now they're making it a TV show. I heard. Like, you're like, come on, give me a break. But I, I think honestly, it's can you can you revisit with a new and bold vision and something like Independence Day failed. Right. It did not bring us something bigger. Right. You go, wait a second. It's been 20 years and you couldn't outdo the first one. Yeah. In laughs, in adventure, mm -hmm. in imagination. Um, you know. So I mean, I agree with you. Yeah. And it'll be interesting that I did, they just wrapped on Guardians of the Galaxy too, yeah. which was such a you know, iconic kind of changing the game movie in some ways for Marvel, and it'll be interesting to see how they follow up on that. Um, what would you, like, you're not, not necessarily the best of all time, but what's your favorite sequel to, to watch? Oh, man. <laughs> Matt, my favorite sequel. You know what? I like them all. Let me, let me see your list. Let me see your list. <laughs> let me see your list. What is on this list? Uh, oh, I gotta be honest. Uh, also, I know the Back to the Future's had sequels. They shouldn't have. Back to the Future was a brilliant one movie. And when they went back to the West and that, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> uh, and, and I mean, that, that crap was tore. I'm sorry your childhood lied to you. Those are not good movies. Um, and uh, no, look, look, Terminator 2 is yeah. another one. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, nah, I don't know. Maybe Wrath of Khan? Maybe Wrath of Khan? Because that, that gave me all the feels. I don't that, know. that for me, like, I, that was, you know, when I think of my, my favorite one to rewatch is Wrath of Khan. And I think it's, because probably it was one of the first sequel as a kid that I saw that I was just like, this is, it improved on the original. Right. But they took some bold risks that today I think the fans would go insane over. Okay. They brought in a new guy. They brought yeah. in Nicholas Meyer who wrote the thing, directed it, totally new direction. He yeah. wasn't a fan. He went back, he found something, one thing with Khan from the TV show. Which is brilliant. Built on it, and people went, but people loved it. And I think, you know, we live in a different day to day where people are nitpicking before it even comes out. They couldn't quite do Ugh, that as much back then because yeah. we didn't have the internet. But, I mean, brilliant directing by him. He got performances out of Shatner and Nimoy and all them that you never, like, oh, nuance yeah. things. And then James Horner's score on that is literally my favorite soundtrack of all. I could listen to that over and over. It's, it's note for note perfect. It was a great movie, but he changed the formula on that in some in some significant ways that he got away with and actually improved. And now whenever anybody tries to do that, people get pissed. The fans are like, you can't do that. That's you right. can't mess with my favorite thing. But he did it in a way that was that really shaped where Star Trek even is oh, today. And Star Trek 2 really starts a trilogy. Yes. It, which which with three uh, and four, yeah. Search for Spock and, and the Voyage Home, Voyage Home yeah. is a perfect six hours. Yes. I mean so but but uh, along with 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 Wrath of Khan, like I can my addition to that is I remember who I saw it with, I remember where I sat, I remember the theater, and like you said, Shatner, it's his best Star Trek. Yeah. When he um, outsmarts Khan, but, and, and here's the other thing about Khan, you get a great Richard, Ricardo Montalban oh, yeah. chewed all the scenery. There was none left. Incredible. He was like, I will eat all the scenery. <laughs> he's Kirk. quoting Shakespeare and he's Kirk. got his accent. Oh, he's so good. oh, the way he goes. <laughs> oh, I mean when he, I mean he's so good. Okay, I did not know until I was much older. But, okay, what, children of the 70s, unite. 
Um, um, it's like a or the or the early eighties. Yes. Uh, Ricardo Montalban was the star of Fantasy Island. Yes. And he was Mr. Rourke. Mm -hmm. And so he would always welcome to Fantasy Island, and he was so suave and debonair, but but he was thin. And then in Wrath of Khan, he's freaking ripped. He's got like Arnold Schwarzenegger's chest, and he's like, I mean, it's open down to his navel, and he's like, Kirk, <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> um, doesn't Kirk say something like? The superior intellect. Uh, how is the superior intellect con? Yeah. But anyway, I did not know until I was in my 20s that that is a plastic plate that he wore. That is a fake chest. That okay, they... so there's rumors that they've denied that, but maybe I, it's Oh, gone. give I've me a break. Go back that. now and click and you go, yeah, it's not real. But, <laughs> but it passes the test the first time there. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll take a break from Fantasy Island. I'll go get really ripped for a month. And then I'm back on Fantasy Island, all small. It doesn't work that way. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, you can see, like, look, look, look at uh, so Ab good. Bradley Cooper. Right. He, like, gets all yo for American Sniper. Right. Oh, American Sniper. And then you kind of kind of see him over the next few movies, lose the weight. Right, It right. doesn't come off in a day. Ricardo <laughs> Montalban was wearing a fake chest. <laughs> and it's awesome. But so I, go watch Wrath of Khan. Here's the other thing that's great about that movie to me is, and, and then we'll wrap it up because we probably spent too much time on it. But No, is, we don't spend too much time on anything. <laughs> People want more of us, is, Matt. If you look at what movies are today and what that is it's it's basically a submarine hunt movie i mean it's oh, yeah. it's two crews in different mm -hmm. ships not even interacting necessarily and trying to outmaneuver each yeah. other but you're captivated the whole time it's not this big action but it's amazing so i, I we just, turned this I, into a star trek segment we did awesome. I, which i will do any we're day we're awesome <laughs> we're awesome genesis where's genesis oh my gosh no radicon may be the best sequel i'm i'm now it's creeping up on empire yeah uh it's yeah. it's there it's it's close it's, it's definitely creeping close. up yeah a great sequel it, you get to revisit look i'm gonna captain america civil war i'm, I'm captain america winter soldier yes is oh that was it. I, way I better than captain all. america yeah and i think it's even better than civil war yeah uh, it, it is a perfect movie yes there are some sequels because they are able to go this is what worked yep and now we're going to take it and we're going to expand it Again, the sequels that don't, that you, I think they're heartless, soulless. You can tell when it's like, oh, you're trying to cash a check here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. All Go right. see all these sequels. Yeah. We'll do Godfather 2 some other time when we're 60. <laughs> when we're older. We can, we so for me, that's like soon. All right. We are ready now for Rob's Comic Rex this week. We this is going to be quick. You, got. you know what? Comic books every week. You know I'm a comic book guy. I love yes, my comic books. People love the comic books. This week is all about <laughs> Civil War. Two, three. Civil War II is an event that's been going all summer long. It's spectacular. Yep. Whenever Marvel teams everybody up to fight, uh, the fanboys, myself included, get very excited because the writers uh, excel at coming up with new ways to twist us. And so far, you know, I've been promoting a lot of DC uh, this summer, but I think Civil War has delivered, and this week's issue is huge. It's going to upset people. A major character dies. Marvel excels at killing major characters. Hmm. And... And also, uh, okay, so should I say it? Should yeah, I say go for it? Because it? it's, it's got a spoiler? Okay, so the... Sorry, audience. Bruce Banner dies. Poor Bruce. Poor Mark Ruffalo. Uh, Bruce Banner <laughs> dies in this issue. It's, it's, I'm sorry. It says spoilers at the top of our show, so if you didn't like it and you're mad at me, then you didn't read the disclaimer. But it's, it's whose hand he dies at. Uh, there, I won't spoil that. Okay. Someone familiar and a hero... Oh kills our friend Bruce Banner. This is a great and very fun comic book. Uh, Nightwing number one, the Rebirth books continue. Super, new Superman. Yeah. Matt, they're doing crazy things over there. There's a bunch of Superman. Uh, this is the Chinese Superman, which here's the thing. I applaud all the different ways Marvel and DC are diversifying. Yeah. And I think this is really cool. Uh, it, it's, 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 uh, it's a new direction as they kind of They've expanded the Superman persona, much like when they did when you were a young type. Yeah, yeah. And they killed Superman. There was right. the rise of the Superman. Yes. We kind of have a similar thing going on here. Chinese Superman, check it out. I, it wouldn't be a week without a Deadpool comic, of right, course. Matt? Because because this pays the rent for Marvel. <laughs> pays the rent. And Wonder Woman is good. But Civil War this <laughs> Wonder week. Woman Wonder, Wonder Woman is good. We love you, Wonder Woman. Uh, Civil War is the recommendation. This is the great. This is the big one of the week. All right. And and you should check it out. And I'm not sure I have anything besides that, except. Comic books and TV combined. Matt, yes. they announced Kid <laughs> Flash. Got, you guys can clap if Kid you Kid Flash. <laughs> They're like, can we clap for that? Okay, this is 
basically the same costume, Kid Flash, a variation on the yellow red yep. that he's had since I was a kid, as I love to invoke my favorite decade, the 70s. Yes. And this is how he's going to look on the Flash, and I am telling you, this looks fantastic. I'm I mean, really excited. Uh, about I, the it. cool thing about the CW shows is how comic booky they are. Yeah. They just embrace the comic book. They do. And I think it's cool. Uh, this this really, you know, you know when something is released and it lights up the internet in a good way. Yeah. And this was one of those days. So Kid Flash, looking forward to it this fall. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. And they're doing they're doing Flashpoint, uh, the, the yes. Flashpoint paradox. Yes. So yes. it'll be very exciting to see how that plays out. They love um, the comics, and especially over because you know the shared universe of Arrow and Supergirl now. All the, it's gonna it's cool. Them, which is it, really you go, fun. it's an entire superhero network. It's fun, and they're making it work. Yep. You know, which is great. Um, it is now time for Toy of the Week. Toy of the Week. <laughs> And people, people wonder why we have to ask somebody. You have to understand, we're wired to the ground. I would jump up and get the toy, but I need someone to give the toy to me. Could yes. someone present could, could, the toy? Uh, would you want to grab the toy for us? You what, are so kind. Name? Amanda. Amanda, Amanda thank you for... Me, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda! Woo! Okay, so Rock. this week, we're back with Star Wars because That's right. uh, Star Wars Celebration is yep. this weekend. Oh, right. Uh, right. Overseas, they're gathering. They're excited. It's not in America. It's, it's overseas. Mark Hamill's excited to sign autographs again. Um, here's the deal. Here's the deal. No, I mean that's it, like he, he gets his lines. It's it's not comparable. At the at the one in Anaheim yeah. l- two years ago, he and that's before Force Awakens. So I say that actually Mark's a nice guy, really cool to our family, very nice guy. I'm very excited at, at his re-embrace. So I didn't mean that in any way but a positive way. Yep. But I mean he, so so and, I, and he tweeted out how excited he was. Now this is it, we're, we're merging worlds here. It says Comic Con on it somewhere. Uh, it says Comic Con right there, Comic Con 2012. Again, this is the kind of stuff you get at Comic Con, which is why people kill themselves to get into Comic Con. <laughs> and and this one you can see is a different figure from each of the films. So you spin it around, and a lot of stormtroopers. We we do have your favorite, Matt's favorite, secret character Jar Jar. And uh, <laughs> and and you know, I've, you, you, you say his name in the middle of the night. And then there's uh, Darth Vader. There's Darth Vader, and 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 then then the mystery box. Okay, how cool is that? Like when Love you get it. it, you go, it opens, and <laughs> and and to make Maddie happier, happier, another Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> do you think Frozen Lucas, in do, do you think Carbonite. Lucasfilm? Do you think Lucasfilm was having fun with this? Oh yeah. You think Lucasfilm was having fun? Oh with this? yeah, that's Jar so Jar great. Frozen, uh, and it says not for individual sale. Of course. I haven't tried only, to sell it. Only with the. I haven't tried back. to sell it yet. Um, but yeah, so this is Toy of the Week in my, my, my sprawling it. Star Wars collection. And I'm telling you, Matt, there's going to be great Star Wars toys at Comic-Con next week. Which I can't we're both wait. very excited for. But I keep showing these Comic-Con toys because this is, I mean, again, you go, what am I going to get, like a pin or a badge? No, they make this. And this yes. isn't in a store. Legit. This isn't Comic-Con. And they run out. Yeah. And then, then you don't want to be there when they run out. So thankfully, <laughs> I wasn't people. there. Thankfully, I wasn't there when they ran out. This is awesome. Maybe so people get share. distracted playing Pokemon. And Pokemon I'll be able to get Go, stuff. we don't even want It's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare. I hope that they beam out a signal and kill everyone's Pokemon. <laughs> so, that would be awesome. So, Matt, there's Toy of the Week. All right. Are well, we done? That's, that's it we for did this it. week, man. We, uh, we, <laughs> we'd love it for We COVID. covered so much. Follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Nerdy Pop Show. Um, our, our individual Twitter. Twitter and Instagram handles are like right here on the screen and you can follow us. Let us know uh, what you think about the show if you have any questions. We actually wrapped up a contest today. We're not going to have a new contest this week because we are going to get you some swag at Comic-Con. Tons of Comic-Con. We'll be doing some uh, contests with in, in the coming weeks. We had thousands of people again this thousands. last week, which we're stoked about. We're gonna, we want, we want Sign millions up. on this next one. Come on. So we will have some Comic-Con exclusives for you. And next week, tune in. We're going to have mm-hmm. our survival guide to Comic-Con yep. for you to watch. Because uh, we're going. We're going to Comic-Con. It's going to be awesome. Matt, All needs, right. Matt needs help. I do I'm going to help him. Please help me. <laughs> help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I will. That's how old I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Yay!